Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Tony Sestinas. Well, before we continue, subscribe, like, and comment uh, so that when I, I do a new video, you can view and, and you don't miss out anything on my cooking. Today I'm making a sweet potato pie. Uh, not that pie we always know, like, you know, when I'm cooking, I use, there's no ground rules. I always make what is nice, what I think people can enjoy. If they can make a twist in food, you don't have to follow exactly how many deciliters or what you have to add. You cook what you like, because I'm making potato pie today. I'm going to use um, natural cream or sour cream. It is good for our health. Uh, instead, we can use coconut milk. So, I'm going to just boil the potato, which I'm, I'm cooking right now. I've peeled one and a half uh, potatoes, big one big potato and a half. Depending on your family, if you have many, you boil more potatoes. You need one whole uh, potato, one big one and a half or a quarter because it's quite filling. Use these uh, sausages, but it can be any sausages depending on where you live. You, I like them processed, but they are not already cooked that you are going to overcook it. So, and then you make uh, like um, a steak and put on top of your mash with uh, some sour cream mixed in the mash, salt and pepper, and a sprinkle of, of you know, cheese, nice cheese. Any cheese you have in it, I always want to give people alternatives. Any cheese you have, you can you can add some vegetables, but usually I'm hooked on to, you know, mushrooms. But you can use broccoli, you can use anything really. So I'm peeling a bit more potatoes. 20 to 25 minutes, they'll be boiling. No salt, nothing. I'll add some salt when I'm adding, you know, like spices. Because if you add salt now... And when you start adding the herbs, you might add too much salt. So there, and then I know how much salt I've added while I prepare my sausages. Oh, sweet potatoes have boiled and they are soft and tender and ready to mash. So as I said, I'm going to fry some, some sausages, sprinkle a bit so that the sausages don't get stuck. Chop them on the saucepan. Saucepan is heating up. So gonna chop them in pieces maybe three pieces so I'm gonna just chop them like this because I'm become a bit hard to you know cut using a knife yeah instead of normal potatoes I'm gonna use sweet potatoes because they are good uh, form of carbs a good health value in them is they have potassium and um, they have uh, natural sweetness which is also recommended by people with diabetes. They can have sweet potatoes. Make sure they don't get burnt. So just control on the pan. They are going to sit on top of the mash. So the mash is here. It's ready. So I'm going to mash it now. Make sure there's no extra water because otherwise it becomes too soft. Rinse out all the water from the mash. And I'm going to mash it. Just mash it. This will mean while the, the sausage is cooked. I'm just going to mash the potatoes. Make sure they are mashed properly. There are no lumps. Then properly like this. See? Now. See, they cook fast. Okay. So I'm going to add some vegetables. So as I said, I'm going to add this. Go. I'm going to use button mushrooms. These small ones. See? I'm gonna chop them into slices. I want them to feel like they are also mashed when they go on top of my potatoes. Chop um, spring onion, which is always good in the potatoes. I'm gonna use this one. So keep your eye on your sausages, and I'm gonna use red on red pepper and green pepper. Just adding, I've added the green spring onion in the mash. Just to give me a nice, piece, you know, flavors. So, and then I'm going to add now, add some herbs and spices. Salt. This is pepper, black pepper. Salt, as I said, I wait to add salt when I'm doing all the herbs. Otherwise, I don't want to over salt it. White pepper. See, of white pepper. I'm going to use aromat. Keep your eyes on the sausages. 
it changes the flavor to taste turmeric just a touch of this and that and that so again now all this is added so i just mix it see so let me test it and see what's going on hmm. not too bad as i keep my eye on the sausages which are you cooking beautifully so make sure i, I like them mashed to mash a bit see here i'm gonna use um sour cream or cream fresh which is recommended uh good health instead of using double cream i'm gonna take some of this sour cream a little bit of it and then instead of any other cream i can add the greek yogurt one it is now i'm mixing so you don't need any double creams and all that so you mix it always testing you test hmm. because it's gonna go in the oven i don't want to over fry so this is done now the potato mash is done it's done now it's sausage time see how they cook very fast and i'm not gonna wait until it is completely cooked so that's enough of the green pepper because i have some more vegetables i have over there or something so now i'm gonna do the button mushrooms just chop them like this can now add mushrooms in here now in the sausage as they cook just looking for flavors now okay so i think the freshest food is cooking every day from scratch yeah. It's getting flavors, liquid seasoning. Go I'm gonna transfer this mash which is done into this plate which is gonna go in the oven. It's gonna be in the oven like maybe I would say 20 minutes is enough. So here it is, it's put in here, balance it in this. So the mash is in. I'm gonna use mature british cheese but you can have any choice any cheese you have in your, your fridge okay that's enough and that way and then i'm gonna pour this on top some baked beans see it is making fantastic meal so, so this is almost ready now not exceeding more than 30 minutes this is just enough so this is ready now i need to pour it on this mash now and go in the oven so all i need i just lift it and pour it here for the mash see it's ready nice mm, smelling nice see i have to pour it in here then i put on some vegetables again on top and it goes in the oven 20 minutes it's ready gonna then i add some cheese that's it and then i'm gonna use some parsley i'm just collecting color now hold on so look nice before it's cooked now it's going to the oven for 20 minutes it will be ready hi guys the food is here now and it's just been in the oven like 25 minutes and it's ready now how beautiful is looking the ingredients were sweet potatoes uh, some peppers for vegetables or bangers on top and then some cheese and a sprinkle of um, salt and pepper because recently they said salt is not actually too bad for us it's good the, uh, the body only takes what it needs and then you got to choose good salt like sea salt or uh, pink salt so let's go guys let's see what happened to this starting a little bit for my dinner see how it is mm, looks nice this is a nice dinner you can get your it's saturday you can have any other drink a beer um wine to you or water or water i don't know it's up to you so this is enough is if i can't finish it you know see as i told you it was only one and i have potatoes this all this came out so it's a lot of food so if i can't finish it i'm just gonna 
put it in containers and then i can have it some other time so guys before i sign off don't forget to subscribe like comment so that you don't miss